I mean, everyone thinks Thomas Ilara is going to attack it heavy like she has all night. And just a nice little finesse ball. Exactly. Maddie Saris able to get the control. Brianna Edwards sends it over. Here comes Northwestern once again. Paula Sarame, a spectacular job by Cameron Hayworth to keep it alive. Ball sent back to Maddie Saris. Brianna Edwards hits it across. Controlled by Northwestern as they hammer that one home. It's number 16, Gerbat. Defense just seems to be really struggling right now. They can't, they're not doing a great job receiving if they don't know where the ball is going or the lines on the court are. Block there kept alive. Cameron Hayworth sends it over. Northwestern controls and looks to attack, and they do! Capitalized and capped off by Ella Gerbach, able to close out the first set. Hayworth sets it up to Edwards as she tips it to the middle. Wildcats recover as they hammer that one home, but Paula Sarame keeps it alive. Rihanna Edwards with a tool, but it's still in play. Hayworth with her own spike. Mama, there goes that man, Cameron Hayward. Sarame able to dig that one out. Brianna Edwards trying to hit it hard. Here, nice tap by Thomas Ayara. Hayworth with a back set. Finds her man, but dug out by the Wildcats, tipped over. Saris with a cross court hit, controlled by the Wildcats. And that one will go out of bounds, Indiana point trying to prevent that at all costs possible. Northwestern digs that one out and tries to find Thomas Ayara, but she sends it into the net. Indiana takes set two. A million dollar move with a 10 cent finish yeah. for Indiana as Thomas Ayala is back up to serve. Saris with a nice set. And it goes right over to Northwestern as they do a little misdirection and put it in. Great job there by Russo. Over to Zumach. A spectacular hit there, but Northwestern able to send it back over. Here's Saris with the attack dug out by Northwestern. There's Thomas Ayer dug up by Sarame. Over to West Belt, they're looking for Saris, who tips it into the open lane. And there's Thomas Ilara with another tip. Ball kept alive, this rally keeps on going. Saris controlled, there's Dodson with a nice hit. Ball spins out of bounds. October 8th to October 17th, and three of those were losses in three sets. They've had three Wednesday games in the past about 10 days or so. Coach Aird has talked about it, how his team's pretty tired, obviously with a lot of travel, a lot of games, pretty back-to-back -back against tough teams. They just played number 11, Minnesota. You know, they've got a lot kind of going against them in terms of preparation and being able to be comfortable playing games like this. Yeah, I mean, Coach Aird has said this all year long. They are playing in a very tough conference with a lot of travel, very little rest and a young team that hasn't experienced this type of fatigue. Not necessarily a recipe for success. Exactly, you know, you, wanna, you want your team to do well, you wanna see them all succeed. Coheed sends that one over, Thomas Ayer. Ball's tipped right back over, Northwestern able to keep it alive. And there's Geddes with a nice attack. Thomas Ayer sends it over, Coheed. One, two, Saris with a tip. The rally continues. Maddie Saris trying to close it out, but it's kept alive on a diving dig. Maddie Saris once again, she'll try it across court, but it's recovered. Wildcats keeping it alive. Another spectacular dig. That's a free ball for Kohi. Dotson closes it out. That's a big one. That was a, I think that was the longest rally we've had tonight, I would say. It's a good one. Hayworth tries to attack and gets it over. Armstrong over to Hayworth. Hayworth to Edwards and puts that one down. Edwards, is she's a good leader on the team. You've got Kari Zumak now, too. Those two players have the potential to really bring the Hoosiers to a win on this set. 
And there's Thomas Alaria. Hits Paula Sarame's hand, and that one will go out of bounds. Northwestern takes set four and will take the match. Thank <laughs> you.